Uh, you too. So, it's Sunday, the, uh, I'm gonna say 9th, June, I think it's the 9th. Basically drive back from um, North Wales last night, on a journey back from North Wales, all through the night. I mean, look at this fucking sky today, it's amazing, and this, all this accumulates just here. You see just here, look? If I turn it up a little bit, change it to that, can you see in there with the stripes in that of this planet? See, they're just there. See them? Stripes. Stripes, man, stripes. And basically, if I pan back now, I'll we'll pan back. And now you can see the planet. See? Pretty much the whole sky, but like, this is like, this seems to be a main part of it. The main part. Look up over the sun. The planet, look. Look at all these fucking things, all them wispy things. Mr. MBB333 keeps featuring stuff like this. And oh, these wispy contrails. And I think Steve. Olsen said the same thing the other day. Um, you, you're all wrong, all of you. It's a big planet that's just there. It was spectacular this morning. It, it, it goes over the top of the sun when it sets and when it rises pretty much. It's pretty much over the top of the sun all the time. Um, you are being lied to by NASA. Um, like so much, it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, it's almost beyond a joke because that, all this, in the sky, just here, is a great big fucking planet. And that's it basically. There's not really much else to say. Right, so I've swapped to this app thing now because, um, it does tend to show up what's going on better on days like today. There we go. See all the stripes? Well, that just there is a planet. Just there. I know it's hard to believe, and you probably most of you don't want to believe it, which is fine. I'll get that, acceptance is the hardest part, really. Um, but you can see, for those of you that have accepted it in that, all the stripes in that, you see that? Stripes. Fucking stripes, him. Come trailing over there. This thing, let's see. It's right over our heads, basically. There's a big halo around the sun, look. And they come trailing underneath the sun. Here, look. There's the planet, you can see the stripes. You can see the stripes. Wow, it looks spectacular actually, I've got to say. Look at this, look. Wow, that is
incredible. Look, so here's them. Look, these weird chemtrails. You go, look, look. Weird, weird contrails, they're not contrails. These, these ones here, all these, all part of this thing. Pushing, pushing, as it pushes this way. <laughs> I know, sounds stupid. Look at that, look, you can actually see stripes just there, look. See it, look, if I just get it right, there, here, look. See it? Perfect halo, you see? Halo appears because uh, this, planet, this planet goes over the sun. As it goes over the sun, it, it makes that. I'm pretty sure everything we've seen is natural. Um, and I say that because I've tried to take this whole thing quite literal since I started seeing it. So, yeah, quite literal in the sense of um, if I was alive, last time this came round, where, however long it was, 300 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, whatever you want to say. Right, but if I was alive then and they, it's been recorded in these times, like as, um, the red dragon and the destroyer and stuff like that. What I've tried to do is try to look for a red dragon in the sky. <laughs> and lo and behold, they're not myths and legends and you know, and uh, oh, they were just writing down, you know, they were, they were, they were just using it as an as a analogy or something. They weren't at all. Come on, go back, mate. Um, they were saying it looks like a red dragon in the sky because when you see this thing at certain times, it looks like a red dragon in the sky. They were calling it destroyer because it's very close to Earth and it destroys things. <laughs> so I don't know what more to say, really. Um, I mean, that's the actual dead honest truth. You know, I'm not relying on NASA or none of that bollocks. I'm trying to find out for myself what's going on. And I'm telling you right now, there's a great big fucking planet that keeps going over and over and over us so all the time. And not just one, there's a few of them. I find it hard to accept as well. <laughs> I did. Not so much anymore. What's happening now? We know what's happening now. Well, I do anyway. I don't know when, when or if it comes closer than this, than it is now. This is the closest I've seen it this year, <coughs> out of the last two years of watching it. There's a cycle pattern as well. There's really not cycles. It does. But I've got to say, is absolutely spectacular today. Look at that though, see? So what it is, it's pushing this way. Look, so you get these, all these, all these here, look. Because this thing is it's coming up over, under the horizon and it's pushing up like this into the sky. So you get this effect, look, yeah? But it's so big, you get these over and over and over and over again, yeah? So this bit's pushed through, look over there, I mean, let's call that the front really because that's where the stripes are yeah, this bit's pushed through and it's caused all this and then the second bit's going to start pushing through this bit and it's going to cause 
going to cause more crap. More of these, yeah? And I reckon the way it is today, you'll probably, this will probably happen all day long. Now, if the sun stays like this, yeah, it'll, it'll stay like this all day pretty much. There's a yellow orange glow all over the horizon there from where them stripes are. I mean, look at that mess there, look. Scary mess. Boom, how's it? You right, baby? Where's the mate? Where's the baby? Who's the baby? There you are. Yeah, I know. Mr. Are you Mr. Baby? Are you Mr. Baby? See, something's going over the sun, under the sun now. I can't really see because I haven't got my glasses on. Um, so I'm just going to try and keep the camera there for a minute because I can see something going on. That is bright today. I've got that turned up to tenfold. <laughs> right, sorry, I've got to go around here now. Trees are in. Look at that though, look. Tell me this is fucking normal. None of this is normal. None of this is normal. fucking clouds it's on the piss as well so when it comes up it comes up like and sort of turns almost on an angle to us which is what it's doing there oh no it's coming up this way so like, it's coming up as it comes up like this bit sort of turning like that as it does it that makes sense so we get to see some great parts of it and the same parts over and over again this is what I keep saying about the patterns in the clouds and and all this Oh, it's dead real, that. Must have the only dog. I love him to bits. He's one of them dudes, but the only dog that wants to go back from a dog walk. Most dogs want to stay out, don't they? Not forever. Not mine. I think it's bored, he wants to go home. I think it's bored of me filming the sky. <laughs> That's probably what it is to be fair. He gets a bit nervous about it. He can I think animals can sense it really well. I think he's been sensing it for a while. And he, he can sense that I can sense it. He can sense that I can see it or sense it or whatever, which is weird. Very weird indeed. Very weird. Sun over there. Look, so look, can you see this here? Look, YouTube, look. That's a light there. Look, see that? See that? Look at this fucking sky. Look at it. Look. That's a light just there. And the sun is over there. That's a light just there. See it? Shining.
많이죠. See that? Look. It's actually shining. Look. It's a ball of light shining in the sky. It's just there. You can see something behind it as well. See it? Oh, you can see that, it's absolutely with the sun. How incredible is that? There's two of them. There's one there as well, there's one there. And there's one there. With the dark blue behind. And the light blue at the bottom. It's blue there, look. Cloud's blue, and there's light just here. Right above us there, look. You get the sun. It's going down. Sun, not the sun. Wow, look at that. Unbelievable.